There's a great quote that I'll share before we go wake surfing. Someone said, even a bad day on the water beats any day in the office. And somehow that is combined today. Okay, here's the plan right now. I'm gonna go and ride one of these things right here. This is called a jet surf. It's literally a gas powered surfboard, but I've only tried this like once or twice in the past. <laughs> I've, I've tried it twice in the past. I know exactly how many times I've tried it. And it's difficult to like get started while also holding the camera. So the plan is I'll go off the front of the boat and then I'll rip by and then someone will pass me this camera right now on the stick. So, uh, Hope we don't drop it in the water because I only have one of these cameras. Okay, first thing first, look at the location that we're at. If you know where this is in Canada, this is wild that this is even happening right now. This is my friend, Mark. He's a professional when it comes to jet surfing. He also runs this company here. But anyways, can you can you please explain to me how to, how to get off the front here? Easy. You're gonna put the key into the handle. The board's gonna start. <laughs> That's a 100cc fuel injected two stroke. You're gonna be flying on this thing, bud. All you have to do is just accelerate away when you hear that motor start. So don't push yourself off until that motor starts and then just squeeze that trigger and accelerate away. And then you just finish like that, sit down and you know, you're good to go. Just finish like that and sit down, you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy, easy. All right, Nick, what are, what are, what's the odds of me doing this? Oh, buddy, I think the odds are in your favor. I believe in you. Full send it, easy mode. I have got this one hundo. One, two, three, and... Are you taking it? Yep. Hey. Good morning, everybody. I'm just out for my uh, morning stroll. Today is an amazing day, not just because of the location that we're at, but we get to play with a new camera. I'm shooting with that new Insta 360 Ace Pro 2. It's an action camera, so why not pair that with some action sports? Okay, a little check-in using this camera for the last little bit. First off, I'm genuinely surprised at how good the audio sounds with it. Specifically, having the Leica color looks really, really good. I understand why people love Leica and having those colors built in. Like the Vivid looks stunning, especially for photos. I think that's always like an underestimated part of action cams is using it for photography, but 50 megapixels and being able to get like super wide and having it close to the water means like I never seen photos of Flower Pot Island. Like some of the photos that we were able to capture today. I'm, I'm having fun with it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna run through a couple of tests of the different views that this camera has. You can cycle through them based on what you're shooting. I would say after playing around with it today, Mega View is probably my favorite. It gets you the widest look without too much distortion. I think that's what we're going for, especially if you're shooting people. You never want things to look heavily distorted with somebody because it changes how they look. But at the end of the day, you still want to show everything that's in frame. And I would say that's probably my favorite. Back in the studio, we're gonna talk a little bit about the footage, but I wanna have a little asterisk right here. This was the beta software that I was shooting with, so the image quality has improved since then and will be improved on the final units. So we're gonna dive into some of the tech specs for just a quick second for everybody out there. This camera has a one over 1.3 inch 8K sensor and a dual AI chip, which basically helps with the overall noise reduction and image processing. One of the main selling features of this camera is that it shoots 8K 30 frames per second. Here are my thoughts. We had the most ideal scenario and best lighting conditions, and it looks so 
good. If you are somebody who chases pixels and resolution and wants the flexibility of 8K, I'm happy with it. Now where it really shines and where I think action cameras just in general shine is when we get into 4K 120 frames per second. I mean, when I was out there wake surfing, getting all the splashes, getting the slow motion of the boat, it looks super, super smooth. And there is none of that like bit rate pixelation that you can sometimes see in action cameras. When we were playing it back, it looks crispy. I will make this file, the 8K files and the 4K 120 frames per second files available to download. So if you go to my newsletter below and sign up for that, I will send you a link to the footage so you can pixel peep it yourself. I think one of the downfalls of action cameras typically is that they can't shoot in low light conditions, but because of the AI dual chip, which helps with the noise reduction, if you shoot in pure video mode, you actually get a very, very nice image in low light situations. So here are some clips that we shot. I think it's holding up very, very well and the overall image is brighter than what I've experienced in the past while shooting with other action cameras at night. The camera also allows you to shoot in a 4K HDR mode, which basically stands for high dynamic range. And I think for a lot of people who are not nerds about color science and being able to color grade and get the exact image that they want, the high dynamic range, which basically evens out the highlights and the shadows, it just brightens up the overall image. That means that you can just capture it and then post it right to social media and it's going to look bright, it's gonna look highly saturated, it's gonna look very pleasing to the eye overall. So the option is there for it to be on and off, which is actually a good segue into the high cinematic options, which include the L-Log mode for shooting, which stands for like a log. It gives you the ability to get a flat image and then the people who are into color grading have even more flexibility in post to really push the image out of this camera. I think where this camera really shines is in the stabilization and the horizon lock features. So basically this camera will stabilize the footage after the fact and it looks so good. You do have the ability to turn that off should you want the like high action shot, but you can even use the stabilization in this camera, the flow state to be able to do push-ins, pull-outs, dynamic shots that look like you're shooting on a gimbal. And the horizon lock, which I didn't notice until later, for example, in this shot right here while I'm swimming, literally my hand is moving around while I'm talking in the camera and my shot is kind of going like this, but you don't notice it because the horizon is fully locked. And probably my favorite feature of this camera is the free form video mode, which basically means that you shoot once, but you can export for vertical and horizontal. So you don't need to go, here's my vertical shot. Sorry, one more time, one more time. Just hold, please. Hold up, I gotta do it for horizontal now because you also want a YouTube video. No, you just shoot once and you get it all done and then your client's like, thank you so much for saving us so much time. Or you don't have to tell the monkey that you're shooting in Japan that happens to be in the sauna going like, can you just yawn one more time because it was so cute because I need that for vertical. It's not gonna happen. But if you had this, it, you, maybe you don't have to have that situation. That's not a real situation, but you get the point. Okay, so we're gonna talk about photography with action cameras, which I think these cameras are the most underutilized for capturing incredible still images. Now this shoots 50 megapixels, which is an awesome feature, but I loved the burst mode. So we had Mark go beside Flower Pot Island. I set it to 30 frames captured in three seconds and you get the shot as him going by and then I can find the exact hero shot that I loved. I love this specific image that we're looking at right now. It also has the ability to shoot raw, which is really, really nice. It does take a little long to process those images, but in post-production, once I brought it into Lightroom, there was a ton of flexibility. You also have an underwater mode, so I think these images are going to speak for themselves, but I think truly one of my favorite parts about this camera is the photography aspect of it, and you can put this in places that a bigger DSLR or mirrorless camera can't go specifically most of the time underwater. This camera has a fast charger in it. So while we were doing the tests with this and shooting all day, I didn't have extra batteries. I only had the one. So the fact that we could just plug this in and it would fast charge in 18 minutes up to 80% means that we could keep using it all day, but you do get 180 minutes of battery life out of this. You have the free frame video, you have time shift, you have time lapse, you even have a dash cam feature. So even if you wanna buy this, use it for fun and then just have it in the car the entire time, that's a huge win too, because now you don't have to buy a dash cam. Uh, you have loop recording, you have slow motion, you even have star lapse mode and the burst photo mode, which I talked about earlier. So lots of different shooting modes right out of this camera. This also has a gesture and voice control. So let me show you what that looks like. So you literally put your hand up and it starts recording and then you can like, Stop it there. A special note is it also works if you have gloves on. So just a consideration there that if you're a motorcycle driver, if you ride motorcycles, you don't have to take your glove off. You can still do that and it will work with the glove. 
And then if you wanna take a quick photo, even if it's in video mode, you just go, peace. It switches over, does a countdown, and you can take a quick photo. I also think this camera is gonna get adopted by a lot of professionals out there because it has options like time code and log. And the time code allows you to sync multiple cameras that are not just action cameras. And that is super important, especially when you're on set. And one last notable feature is that this camera has the flippy screen, which is very, very useful if you're into vlogging because it means that you can take this low, be high, and look down at your image, which you can't do with the other action cameras. Instead, you'd have to pair it with your phone, have the separate device, place it. But when I was out there shooting the burst photos with Mark, I was able to get very, very low to the water, see my composition, and then press the button. And I think that is a huge win for this camera, not only for vlogging, but for the ability to find find more frames than most action cameras. I think if you're into travel videography and photography, if you're into action sports, and specifically if you like telling stories through vlogs, this is going to be the camera for you. I think I'm gonna find myself putting this in my bag more often in the next couple months. If you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.